New Hello, Year Two, Term One, by Rebecca Adlard and Claire Hart. Would you like to do more to help the environment by living a more sustainable life? It's actually easier than you might think. There are many small changes you can make that will help to protect the earth. Here are three of them. Let's start with food. You don't have to become a vegetarian, but eating less meat will help the environment. Livestock produce dangerous gases, and they can damage the land they live on. When you need to travel. Think about whether you really need to go in the car or take the bus. It's often possible to walk or ride a bike instead, and these are more sustainable ways of travelling. Everyone likes to get new things, but before you ask your parents to buy you new clothes or new games, ask yourself if you really need them. It isn't sustainable for people to continue buying so much stuff. Workbook, Unit Three, Lesson One, Exercise Three. Listen and complete the sentences with a number or amount. The population of Egypt is growing by nearly two percent a year. That means that there are one million more people living in its cities every six months. This is a problem in a country where ninety-five percent of its population live on about four percent of its land. It is thought that the population of Egypt will be around 128 million by 2030. So, what are the solutions to these problems? One plan is to invest billions of pounds in a new capital city outside Cairo. This is one of the big projects that will help the 700,000 young people who start looking for work each year. Student's book, Unit Three, Lesson Two, Exercise One. Listen to an interview with Dr. Parker, an expert on the rainforests in Borneo.